So I am an artist. I'm a painter, illustrator, and muralist um, located in Burlington, Vermont. And this is my studio. I started art at a young age. I actually really thought I wanted to go into fashion design. So I'd draw, I'd play with fabric, I'd sew. When I went to college, I studied fashion design for a year, decided I wanted to get out of that industry. And I transferred to UVM. And not until two years ago did I really start trying to get back to like what inspires me and what I'm passionate about and what I'd want to do if the world ended tomorrow. We're standing by now waiting for Governor Phil Scott to address Vermont's first presumptive positive case of the coronavirus. I painted a mural down at the Intervale for a farm called June Farm. It's a flower farm that ended up being kind of a billboard for my work. And then my next mural I did was for Poppy Cafe and Cafe Mama Juana in the Old North End. And so many people saw that because they're like a badass female founded business. One thing led to another to the point where I, I felt finally comfortable quitting my job and starting this full time. Art, it's very connected to spirituality for me. I think it's really important, for me at least, to be in a flow state. When my mind turns off and I'm connected to, to the, the flow of life and the like beautiful aspect of creation, when it comes to art, I find myself trying to make art that's kind of this like abstract representation of the world around me. And I try to go through my life seeing the world with a lens of joy. And so when I create, I try to make it an exaggerated lens of joy. I would love people to accept my art as something that like gives them a little levity or allows them not to take themselves too seriously. Um, I love to travel. I love new cultures, new spices, new flavors, new colors, um, new perspectives on life. And I think travel is a really important way for me to fill my cup. When I came back to Vermont, I very much was at a point where I really wanted to feel grounded. And the people here are insanely obsessed with collaboration and the opposite of competition. Everyone's trying to lift each other up and celebrate each other. It's so unique in that way. You could live here for a year and, and really invest in the community and it will notice that and give you a hug right back. Ryan Midden reached out to me from 1%. They had just moved into the Hula campus. They were really looking for something fresh and modern, vibrant, and a mural that could tie the entire space together. And the mural is kind of an ode to the planet. It has a little bit of water, a little bit of air, some sun, some rain, botanical elements. It really tries to give you an abstract representation of all the things we love about the earth. Um, and why it's important to fight for it. 1% partnered with Wind and Waves to put together a really awesome water bottle that takes aspects of the mural, kind of gives them to you so you can take them in your day.